It's 8.27 right now. Thank you very much for your time. So, pocket money loans. Thank you for joining us. At 5,000% interest, children in Newcastle will be offered payday lending deals today by a spoof business that's popping up in the city centre. Yeah, how's this going to work? Darren Cullen is what's known as a situationist prankster. He's behind the stunt and he joins <laughs> us in the studio now. Thanks for coming in like this morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, just because you, you're not actually lending kids money this is a this is satire yes at the moment it is still illegal to lend money to children but i think <laughs> if these payday loan companies could they would okay uh, what what's going to happen you're in northumberland street in newcastle today and tomorrow mm-hmm. what will people see if they walk past well so it's um, a payday loan shop for kids and um inside the shop there's uh, a few other services such as we offer bouncy castle loan but uh, bouncy castle mortgages and uh, <laughs> Um, rent to buy gobstoppers and the uh, can I buy one please for you, Anna Foster you can, there's a, <laughs> I need one this morning it's a buy now pay forever plan on the on the gobstoppers um, <laughs> but it, the whole project's about the way that um, payday loan companies uh, target children through um, their advertising and they use very child friendly imagery mm. and it's partly to groom the next generation of customers but also to make these financial products seem less dangerous to adults as well if they use cartoons mm. and it's not it's not the first time you've done this either is it you've no. done something similar before yeah I did it at Dismaland and um at explain what Dismaland is because some people might not know sorry, that sorry yes uh, Banksy's um kind of theme park theme park yeah. yes uh, yeah. dystopian theme park in western <laughs> supermare um yeah it's always had a, a great reaction um oh, but in places like Dismaland it People knew that it was a joke. I think on Northumberland Street, it's going to be a mixed reaction of people who think that it's actually really happening. Well, also, some people, uh, you know, going past your stall might think payday lending's fine. Otherwise, these companies wouldn't survive. Do you do you hear any positive stories of payday loans from people who, who you know, think they're OK? Well, I, when I first set up the shop, I had people coming in thinking that it was a real... Uh, payday loan shop and speaking to them I found that basically these are some of the most vulnerable people in society who who are having to use these services and well we used to have a kind of functioning welfare state now you've got uh, companies that are preying on the poorest people in society and instead of helping them they're um, uh, taking them for everything they've got Mm. Um, people who are in financial difficulty um, need support and they need uh, quick, quick access loans but what they don't need is these companies, this entire business model is based on them not being able to repay and then kind of racking up interest and late fees. Do, do you think the children understand what you're doing as well? Do you think they understand it? Well, uh, some some of them do. I think in general, there's a wider uh, question that I'm interested in, which is the way that children are advertised to in general. And I think um, children don't realise the, the manipulation tactics of advertising. Um, and, and companies use uh, um, advertising directed at children to... To ensure that they've got, um, if they can capture the imagination of children, then they've got the adult as a customer for the rest of their lives. Well, we asked the Consumer Finance Association to come on the show and the, respond to this. They represent the short-term lending industry in the UK, although they do not, we should not, represent Wonga. They declined the invitation, but here's what they told us in a statement. This is clearly a spoof, but it raises important issues about the need to help young people manage their money sensibly. Short-term loans are not available to anyone under 18 years of age, and you must have your own bank account. But people who do borrow in this way come from all walks of life, and it is very popular. A recent survey by Smart Money People showed 95% of short-term credit customers felt they were treated fairly, compared to 88% of mainstream credit customers. The price of loans is limited by a price cap set by the regulator. Lenders are tightly regulated and carry out stringent checks on customers to ensure they can afford to borrow money. As a result of these checks, on average, 93% of applications are declined. Now, we also approached Wonga asking for their take on this. They said no comment. But they did point out that their APR is 1,509%, not 5,000% on the website. They say over the last few months, we've introduced lots of changes at Wonga to make sure we offer better, fairer loans to customers. We take a responsible approach and lend only to those we believe can reasonably afford to pay. Um, uh, could it be that some payday lenders are responsible? You're not using kids as a, as a political tool in all of this. Um, no, I think there's a lot of uh, kind of mis, um, untruths in what they were saying there. I think uh, they like to 
put forward this facade of them being responsible companies, whereas actually they're... But they're a business. They're loan sharks who have got paid graphic designers and rented uh, a, a premises in the centre of towns. Um, I don't think there's, there's much more to them than that, really. Um, they uh, It's a form of weaponized financial products that they're using against poor people. They're not... Okay. They're not there to help people. Darren, thank you very much for, for coming in. Um, I think you'll enjoy the film I, Daniel Blake, uh, somehow. Yes, That's sir. satirist Darren Cullen, who's setting up a spoof pocket money loan stall in Newcastle City Centre today to educate children about the pitfalls of using payday lenders.